What's going on Linear Algebra Bros? It's Mr. C here, and in this video we are going to determine the solution space or solution subspace of the following homogeneous linear system. Alright, to get things going we're going to want to put this system in augmented matrix format. And once we do so, we can use our calculators to RREF it. When you do so, the uh, first row is going to have the following entries, 1, 0, 5, 0. Second row, 0, 1, 1, 0. And then third row is nothing but zeros. So it looks like we might need a parameter here. Keep in mind that the first column uh, is for the variable x, second column for y, and third column for z. Looks like both x and y correspond to leading ones, so z is going to have to be the parameter here. So down below, I'm going to say let z equal t. And that's going to allow us to rewrite um, the equation from the first row in terms of t and the equation from the second row in terms of t. Uh, the first row tells us that x plus 5z equals 0. Since z is getting replaced by t, that's x plus 5t equals 0. Or in other words, x equals negative 5t. Row 2 would tell us that y plus z equals 0. That's y plus t in this guise. And solving for y, y equals negative t. So our parametric equations would be as follows. x equals negative 5t, y equals negative t, and z equals t. Now since there's only one parameter, uh, involved in these parametric equations, this would actually correspond to um, a line through the origin. How would we know that it's going through the origin? Well, you could rewrite each one of these equations involving the three components of the origin in 3 space, namely 0 minus 5t, 0 minus t, and then t. Well, I'm sorry, 0 plus t. Okay, so based on that, our solution space should be a line through the origin. Now, if you look at the uh, coefficients of the parameter, we have negative 5, negative 1, and 1. Although it might not be required in some instances, we, we could describe this line in a little more detail. We could say that it's a line through the origin parallel to, and I'll say uh, the vector v uh, equals, and I'll give the component form of it, negative 5, negative 1, and positive 1. Another way that you could represent the solutions to uh, this linear system is in vector uh, equation format. Let's say x comma y comma z represents the solutions, uh, all the solutions to this linear system. Using the parametric equations defined above, we could replace x with negative 5t, y with negative t, and z with t. And we can split this up as the sum of the zero vector or the origin plus t times and these are going to be the components of v, negative 5, comma, negative 1, comma, 1. Okay, and this would be the vector equation for um, the line. And you can see that the line goes to the origin and would be parallel to this vector v having components negative 5, negative 1, 1. All right, so if, if you did it this way instead, you should still arrive at the same conclusion that it's a line through the origin, and I'll add a little more detail here, parallel to v equals negative 5, negative 1, 1. All right, so that's for the pain and torture. I'm sorry, fun and excitement ends for this problem. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and keep it classy, Algebros. Have a good one.